Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to 18 Bangla. This is Wahibur Rahman with the news. First, the UCB headlines. How movement could be justified for one who swindles away orphans money, asked Prime Minister at a public meeting in Takurga. Myanmar has agreed to involve UNHCR in the process of Rohingya repatriation from Bangladesh, says State Minister for Foreign Affairs. Election and by-election to 133 local government, including 119 union councils across the country, held amid tight security. Vote counting underway, one killed. And a fire at a police station in the Venezuelan city of Valencia leaves 68 people dead. Now on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said, BNP failed to give the country anything other than militancy, corruption and killing people. Addressing a public meeting organized by local Awami League at Takurga Government Boys High School ground, she said how movement could be justified for one who swindles away orphans' money. Sheikh Hasina asserted that following the BNP leader's conviction for corruption, their movement program has become illogical. The Prime Minister urged the people to again vote for both in the interest of keeping development of the country unhindered. BNP has alleged that the petition of ACCA for enhancing punishment of BNP chairperson Begum Khalidazia is totally illegal. Claiming that at a party central office at Nayapalton, BNP spokesman Ruhul Kobi Rizvi said, although it is not within the purview of law, ACC filed the review petition at government's directive, which is politically motivated. He criticized the statement of a Wamini General Secretary regarding election time government and added that the ruling party is trying to form a government small in size, comprising political parties having representation in parliament. Health Minister Asadu Zaman Khan Kamal has said BNP was not accorded permission for rally today, maybe due to some specific problems. Speaking at a flag raising function of the newly formed 38 Ansar Battalion at Manikonj Academy, he said the responsibility of police commissioner is to safeguard people's lives and properties and to see so that traffic congestion does not take place. Myanmar has agreed to involve UN refugee organization UNHCR in the process of repatriation of Rohingyas from Bangladesh. State Minister for Foreign Affairs Shahriar Alom said this at a discussion on holding the Conference of the Islamic Countries Alliance OIC in Dhaka in May next. He informed that at the conference, Bangladesh should seek assistance from OIC member countries giving Rohingya crisis highest priority. Earlier, the State Minister met UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and had discussion on Rohingya crisis. The UN has ensured that Myanmar will involve the UNHCR in tackling the Rohingya issue. Election and by-election to 133 local government, including 119 union councils across the country, was held today amid tight security. The polling was held in 47 union parishads, by-elections to 72 unions and elections to seven municipalities and by-elections to four municipalities and election to an upujila parishad in different posts. The voting started at 8 a.m. and ended at 4 p.m. without any break. Polling was held more or less peacefully, barring a few sporadic incidents of violence. Counting of votes is process. Meanwhile, one person named Malik Mia has been killed in police firing while snatching ballot papers and casting vote forcibly at a polling center of Shagur the Union under Ghatai Lopujila in Tanga several hours before beginning of the poll. Police Super of Tangal Shuanjit Kumar Roy informed that they resorted to fire when a group of people entered the polling center and snatched ballot paper, ignoring order of the law enforcers. 
Six people have been killed in separate road accidents in Hobiganj and Gajipur. Police informed that three passengers were killed when a bus fell into ditch at Nobiganj of Hobiganj this morning. The accident took place at Sherpur on Siladhaka Highway, which resulted in the death of three people on the spot. Meanwhile, three more people lost their lives at Hotabara in Gajipur when a microbus lost control and rammed into a stationary truck. At this time, three passengers of the microbus, including the driver, died instantly. Now news from abroad, a fire at a police station in the Venezuelan city of Valencia in Carabobo state has left 68 people dead. Government officials say the blaze reportedly started after prisoners set fire to mattresses in an attempt to break out on Wednesday. Police used to tear gas to disperse relatives who surrounded the station after news of the fire. Chief state prosecutor said an investigation into what had happened would begin immediately. The situation had now been brought under control. And that's the end of this bulletin. Thank you for staying with us. Allah